What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 ladies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, and you enjoyed my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general plus your reading for sign of Virgo. This is for us if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Sun, moon, hey, your chart. So please don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't, apply that it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general plus your reading uh, for sign of Virgo. Uh, thanks everybody for all the love and support to your channel. We're at 13,240 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to your channel. If you'd like to donate, it's my pieces to apply. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I received one channel message as I was meditating on your July 2022's um, energy, and I heard... A Virgo is about to get a surprise visit from an Aquarius soon. It's about to shock the hell out of him, uh, out of them. Sorry, not him. Out of them, blind side. That's what I heard. Uh, and it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. Some this will be positive. Some this will be negative. Okay, and um, so it it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. For some, it's going to be um. Blindside, blindside. So you're going to be blindsided by this visit with this Aquarius. Um, some, it sounds like it's going to go positive. Some, it's going to go negative. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do. Aquarian energy, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here, Jupiter charts. Um, but it sounds like a surprise visit, blindside, surprise visit. For some, it's going to go positive, and I don't think you thought it was going to go positive. Some, it's going to go negative, and I don't think you think it's going to go negative. That's what I'm feeling from the spiritual download. But only you know your story, not anybody else. A heavy Aquarian energy, and this is your Aquarius energy right here. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hey, your charts. Number four could be very significant number in one's life. Number four, it could be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number four. For some, you could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand your charts. At least for uh, at least for two, you're dealing with Aquariuses, and it's a surprise visit. Some is at workplaces. Some is at your home. Some is at workplaces, and some is at your home. So for some of you guys, it's... Uh, Surprise blindside visit by this Aquarius is at your workplace. Some it's at your home. Some it's child protective services. Some it's a lawyer. Some it's a guardian ad litem. Some it's child protective services. Some it's a guardian ad litem. Some it's a lawyer. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, Virgo. Spirit messages. For some it's an ex-lover. For some, it's an ex-lover, okay? So for some, it's Child Protective Services. Some, it's a guardian ad litem. Some, it is, um, guardian ad litem is a children's lawyer, by the way, for anybody doesn't know. Um, some, it is um, uh, a lawyer. And for some, it is um, an ex-lover. So an ex-lover, Aquarian, um, or any of the other lawyer, CPS, or guardian ad litem. You plug it in, how it resonates. My Lord, Virgo. Spirit messages you have for sign of Virgo. Spirit messages you have a sign of Virgo. A cancer that had a Virgo's name in a jar. Soon it's about to seriously backfire on this cancer. Summit is a Pisces. Summit is a Sag. It's about to seriously backfire. So for some of you guys, it's a Cancer, some is a Pisces, some is a Sag that has your name in a jar. Um, for some, uh, whoever these people are, I feel they could be masculine or femme, Pisces, Cancer, or Sag. 
Um, they can have Pisces, Cancer, or Sag, and they're Sun, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Amber, Jupiter, Charts. Um, anybody that has anybody name in a jar, um, it's on the dark arts end for anybody who doesn't know that. Newbies just joining. It's on the dark arts end. You only put somebody's name in a jar for negative intentions. It's to cause them harm or wish them ill or something of that nature. Um, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them, so I didn't hear how it's going to backfire on them, but somehow it's going to seriously boomerang, energetically boomerang back in some kind of negative way. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Um, I feel those people could be any any people to you. You'd have to plug those people in how they resonate if the message or messages apply. Heavy ex-lover and secret competition at work energy. Heavy ex-lover and secret competition at work energy. So the people that had your name um, or has your name in a jar, it sounds like right now, some are ex-lovers and some are um, secret competition energy. So secret competition at work. So they're secretly competing with you at work. And for some, it's ex-lovers. So you have to plug those people in, how they resonate. Only you know how many lovers you've had in the past. I only you know your co-workers, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have sign of Virgo. And a Virgo reader, popular online social media reader, femme, that was in a secret love Relationship with the Cancer Femme online popular social media platform. That, that relationship is about to be exposed in a way you never thought it was going to be. By somebody you never thought it was going to be exposed by. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so why is somebody exposing somebody relationships can't people just stay in their own lane and i'm just being for real why do people feel the need to bring out people's dirty laundry i have no idea you plug it in how it resonates um so you're a virgo fam and you had a secret um uh, relationship with another popular online social media platform person and i heard a cancer fan so it's a homosexual relationship ma'am you're a Virgo fan, online popular social media platform reader. You were in, it sounds like past energy in a secret online, I mean, not secret online, secret affair or relationship or what have you, what have you. It, it sounds like both of your popular online social media platforms did not know you both were secretly seeing each other. And honestly, hell, I, I would, if I will, I probably would. I probably would make mine public. I probably would. Yeah, I probably would. Because that's just me. But there's a reason why you wanted to make it secret. Hey, I'm all for people's choice. absolutely. freaking -lutely. But there's a reason you wanted to make it secret. I would make mine public. And I'm just being real. I would. But you chose to make it secret. That's your right, ma'am. Virgo fan. And that's, I'm serious. And that's your right, cancer fan, ma'am. Um, but I heard soon somebody's about to expose it. Somebody you never would have expected. Somebody you never would have expected. It's somebody you never would have expected about to expose it. Now, obviously, they're being malicious um, to expose something like this because you should leave people's relationships the hell alone. And that's just the truth. You guys chose to make it secret. Leave people's relationships the hell alone. And that's just the truth. Um, I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. I don't get that kind of maliciousness and spite, but... Apparently, you've got a very malicious, malicious and spiteful person that is hell-bent on bringing this um, one secret relationship between you and this cancer fam out publicly is what it sounds like. It is going to go so, 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 so public. So public. It is going to go so, 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 so public. Social media. Social media is what I just heard. Social media. So somebody's helping on basically, I think, defaming your character, your reputation. And so they want to they want to find some kind of dirty laundry on you. Well, this is how they're about to do it. And it sounds like they're about to blast it all over social media, ma'am. Um, you're a Virgo fam, if that resonates for you. And um, you're a popular online social media platform reader. And then the cancer fam has a popular online social media platform reader, too. 
Somebody is about to blast your personal business all over social media. I didn't hear a sign of who's about to do this, but you plug it in how it resonates. Dragonfly. Somebody's alcoholism is about to kick, kick up again. You are a recovering alcoholic. It's about to piss you off in a huge way. They refuse to get help for themselves. Okay, I heard someone's alcoholism is about to kick up again. It's about to piss you off in a huge way. You're a recovering alcoholic. If this resonates for you, Virgo, and... Um, I heard they refuse to get help for themselves. So they refuse to help themselves. Um, I guess they refuse AA or refuse um, al um, alcoholics, alcohol treatment in a treatment facility. Or I don't know. I've never been an alcoholic or a drug addict. So, I mean, I'm not, I just don't know how that works is what I'm saying. So however that works on the alcoholism scale is what I'm saying. But I heard they refuse to get help. They refuse to get help and it pisses you off. I think it's somebody you're very close to. So I think you're going to speak publicly on this or speak to this person with the dragonfly energy to get them some freaking help because, um, or can try to convince them to get help because I heard they refuse to get help. You can't force somebody. You can't force somebody unless they start acting damn fool in public. And that's just the truth. I didn't hear anything else. I um I feel for some it might be your partner. It might be a partner, it might be a family member, it might be a community member, it might be a neighbor. Um, but you are a recovering alcoholic and um they are still an alcoholic. So they they're still me mentally immature, they just refuse to get help basically. That Someone lied on a Leo Femmes credit score in a huge way. A Virgo has already figured this out. How did they fix? Okay. That's a random message. Okay. So a, um, somebody lied on a Leo Femmes credit score, but a Virgo has already figured this out. So maybe you work for Experian or uh, Credit Karma or I think you work for Experian or Credit Karma or um, or one of the essential credit bureaus reporting agencies. Um, because if you don't and they didn't tell you, that's illegal. <laughs> Breaking in and figuring out what somebody's credit score is if they didn't tell you. Um, so I feel you might work for Experian or Credit Karma or um, something of that nature, the main credit reporting bureaus. Um, so she either has a really great credit score or a really shitty credit score, but somebody lied on you about her credit score, if that resonates for you, Virgo. I don't know why this Leo Fem's credit score is so essential here, but, um, apparently it is. Um, maybe she's your wife, maybe she's your girlfriend, maybe she's your, um, partner, um, maybe you're dating her. I'm not sure, or maybe you work for Experian or Credit Karma or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However that resonates, okay? Your Leo Fem. Very amazing credit score. Amazing with money. 
very amazing credit score and amazing with money. So she, so it's a good credit score. So she has an amazing credit score and good with money. But somebody lied on you and told you that she had a shitty credit score, basically. Um, whoever you are. For one Virgo, it was another Virgo that lied to you. You're about to tear into their ass. For one Virgo, it was another Virgo that lied to you and you're about to tear into their ass. So one of you guys, it was another Virgo that lied to you and you're about to tear into their ass. Um, this Leo Fibs credit score is being very public on my uh, platform. My God, why it's so important in here, I have no idea. She has always had a wonderful credit score. Very responsible money. She's always had a very um, wonderful credit score, responsible money. You're pulling this Leo Finn very strong. She's apparently very good with money. Very good. Um, and trust me, I know from being a 38 year old woman um, with a really good credit score myself, um, I've been in the 800s for about five, four years now, something like that, three or four years. I've been in the 800 credit score, three or four years, something like that. Um, it's hard to maintain the credit score. Um, well, not really hard. It's not hard if you um, budget appropriately. If you budget appropriately, it's not hard. And that's just the truth. Uh, once you get yourself there. But um, before that, I was in the 700s. I never had a shitty credit score, like 400 or 300 or 500. I've never had a credit, shitty credit score. Ever, ever, ever. I haven't. But I know some. a lot of people have. And especially, that's probably where some of the coworkers got pissed at me. Because they had shitty ass credit scores. 400, 500, 600, and I'm in there with freaking 800, but when I picked up on the fact that those people were pissed, I shut up about my credit score when they asked me. I shut up. I just said, yeah, it's good, and that's it, because people are freaking insane in the membrane, and that's just the truth. Happy family. A Virgo is about to adopt a child soon. Cannot conceive. Oh, that's beautiful. A Virgo is about to um, adopt a child soon. Cannot conceive. So I'm an adopted child, child of the system for anybody who doesn't know. So I, I'm always pro-adoption. Um, I told my ex-husband a long time ago I wanted to adopt a child. I never made it a reality because we had two of our own. Um, and, of course, we've been divorced almost a decade now. And I'll enjoy it being divorced from him. Trust me, there's a reason we got divorced. So, But I am very, very pro-adoption. Very pro. Very, very pro. Very pro. Um, and one day when I'm a millionaire, I might adopt a child for us. Um, but my kids are teenagers now, so um, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, but I have always dreamed of adopting a child. So one of you guys is about to adopt a child. Uh, please give it lots of love, love and care. But And I'm sure you know this, Virgo, you get money for adopting the child. Just let you know. You get paid. And that's the truth. My foster mother, she got paid. To, to raise me, um, and that's just damn true, by the state, so um, treat them right, please, because you'll be paid to raise this child by the state, and they'll get free health care, too, I'm sure you know this, too, but I think it's going to make a happy family here, so you plug it in how it resonates, I heard you um, cannot conceive, so congrats, wildflowers, A Virgo is about to be send flowers, and a Virgo is about to send flowers. A Virgo is about to be sent flowers, and a Virgo is about to send flowers. So you plug it in how it resonates. So actual flower sending, whether you are the recipient of these flowers or you are sending flowers to somebody else, you plug it in how it resonates. A halo of flowers a child's about to make is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. A halo of flowers that a child is about to make is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. That's beautiful. It's the little thing. Box, you will receive a gift. Money that was sent to the police. 
is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life, and a Virgo is about to contact a Taurus soon to convince the Taurus to send the money to the police. Okay, I heard money that was sent um, to the police. It sounds like a Virgo has already sent this money or somebody else has already sent this money to the police. It's about to become significant in Virgo's life. It's already money. It's not, stolen money. Stolen money. So stolen money has already been, it sounds like returned to the police um, already in the universe, whether a Virgo did this or somebody else did it. But it's about to become significant in one of you guys' life. The stolen money that was, it sounds like sent to the police. Um, and a Virgo is about to contact a Taurus, I heard, to convince them to um, take money to the police. Stolen money. Stolen money. Stolen money. So, stolen money to the police. Um, okay. So, you will receive a gift. You could be a masculine fin Virgo, masculine fin Taurus. You have to plug your, uh, well, masculine fin Virgo dealing with the masculine fin Taurus. You plug it in, how it resonates. You will receive a gift. A Virgo is about to receive a necklace soon, but be careful. It is hexed and cursed. A Virgo is about to receive a necklace soon, but be careful. It's hexed and cursed. Um, some kind of necklace. I didn't hear exactly what was on the necklace, but whatever it is, it's hexed and cursed. It doesn't sound like you've received it yet, but you're about to. So some kind of necklace you're about to receive. I heard be careful. It's hexed, hexed and cursed. So gift energy from this necklace. Um, Cover that resonates, sir, ma'am. You are on the road to success. A ray is coming for a Virgo, finally. It's been a long time. A ray is coming for a Virgo, finally. It's been a long time. So some kind of race energy. Well, congrats, whoever that's for. Um, whoever you are, I'm assuming you're not getting wrongfully terminated out in the universe. Um, so congrats to you. Whoever that's for. Quill, get it back, get back to the basics. Quilting for one. Gardening for one. Quilting for one, gardening for one. So, quilting for one of you guys, gardening for one of you guys, you plug it in, how it resonates. Get back to the basics, some kind of quilting and gardening. I think you like to do these things as hobbies, um, is what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, I love you guys so much. Hope this helped, and namaste.